Known as the birthplace of Silicon Valley, Palo Alto is one of the most sought after communities for Silicon Valley's wealthy, innovative, and influential. So what should you know before buying a home in the area? Watch this video for everything you need to know about living in Palo Alto, California. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Allison. I'm with the Selling Silicon Valley Group and we help people buy and sell homes here in the Bay Area. So if there's anything you wanna know when it comes to living anywhere in Silicon Valley, our team is here to help. We're getting dozens of phone calls and text messages every single day from people moving and relocating here. We absolutely love it. So if you're thinking of moving anywhere in the San Francisco Bay Area or Silicon Valley, make sure to call, text us, or email us. We're here to help. Any prospective resident's first question is, what is living there like? Palo Alto is a mid-sized city with a residential atmosphere. There's no iconic city skyline you might be imagining a city in the Bay Area may have, and land is scarce, as most of the area has already been developed for property. So if you are hoping to land in an area with a bustling city environment, Palo Alto might disappoint a little bit. I'd say it's one of the more modern American suburban areas we have in Silicon Valley. If Palo Alto is the city of your dreams, how much will it cost to call yourself a resident? If you know anything about the city, you must know that this is not an area where people worry about their money. Like I said before, many people in Palo Alto are some of the wealthiest and most influential people in the Bay Area. So buying a home will require a higher budget. Average list prices start in the mid to low ones for a single family home and can go all the way up to $10 million for estates. There is higher density housing if you look closer to downtown, and the east side has some secluded residencies for those wanting a bit more privacy, but you'll need a large budget. And if you aren't certain how to begin looking for Palo Alto real estate, the Selling Silicon Valley Group is happy to help. What if you can't find a suitable home in Palo Alto within your budget? Then Palo Alto might not be where you wanna begin your home buying journey. This is not an area you buy in if you're not looking to settle long-term. Housing is far too expensive due to the lack of available land. So when buying in Palo Alto, it's best to go with the goal of finding your forever home. That said, a Palo Alto budget goes far in other Silicon Valley communities. San Jose can get you even larger homes for the same price as it would for a smaller property in Palo Alto. It's really up to you and what you want from your house. So if Palo Alto doesn't have just what you're looking for, you'll be able to find a home somewhere else easily. If you do make the move here, the next step is getting to know your new city. Palo Alto has a lot of things to do. Stanford is nearby, so any Stanford sporting event or popular acts come to the Frost Amphitheater to perform. There's a great social scene on University Avenue, one of Palo Alto's most popular spots for dining and shopping. And Palo Alto is not short of things to do either. The city alone has 36 parks, 39 playgrounds, public community and youth centers, 41 miles of biking and hiking trails, and five libraries. You'll never have to wonder what's available to do when you're out in Palo Alto. Thanks for watching. At Selling Silicon Valley TV, we're here to bring you the latest tips, advice, and strategies on all things real estate in Silicon Valley. So for more videos like this one, go ahead and subscribe below and click on the bell to get notified each time we post a new video for you. This is Allison with the Selling Silicon Valley Group, and I will catch all of you in the next video.